20 Bodybuilding Tips for Beginners 1. Bodybuilding requires commitment. You cannot go into bodybuilding and be half-hearted about it. It is a test of strength, self-discipline, and willpower. Start only when you are sure you can commit time, effort, and energy. 2. Sincere Desire Your decision to start on muscle training must come from a sincere desire for a healthier and a more developed body. 3. Assess your body. Decide what kind of attention goes to which part of your body. This way, it is easy for you to create a program that addresses your problem areas. 4. Set your goals and create a plan accordingly. How much body fat do you want to lose? How much muscle weight do you intend to gain? Give yourself a deadline for when these goals should be attained. 5. Manage your expectations. Make a realistic visualization of the progress you can achieve in a certain period. Do not set yourself for disappointment. Most beginners get discouraged because of the unrealistic goals they set for themselves. 6. Assess your lifestyle. How many hours a week do you intend to devote to working out? How much energy do you still have after work, school? Is it best to go before your daily duties or after? 7. Create a journal. Document your progress from day one. Write down your current weight. Measure your body fat using a fat caliper. Take photos of your body, especially the problem areas. Compare measurements as you go along your bodybuilding efforts. This shall serve as your motivation in reaching your goals. 8. Hormonal profile plays a significant role in muscle mass gain. Testosterone is responsible for developing muscles, while estrogen is responsible for the womanly curves. Hence, men grow muscle mass faster than women. 9. The ability to gain differs from person to person. So progress cannot be tracked by comparing it with your training buddy, even if both of you started at the same time. You can check your development only by taking note of your present measurement and comparing it with your previous measurement. 10. Do not be discouraged if you do not see a change in your weight during your strength training. While you lose weight by burning fats, you also keep or even increase poundage as you build muscle. 11. Know the difference between setting up an in-home gym versus getting a gym membership. Many people find it easier to stay faithful to their routine in a gym setting. An in-home setting is convenient but poses temptation to slack off. 12. If you intend to get a bodybuilding partner, working out is an activity that can be enjoyed with someone, especially because you have someone who can spot on you. However, make sure that you don't go lazy once your buddy drops the routine. 13. Prepare yourself physically, mentally and psychologically for the task at hand. Condition your mind that you are capable of achieving a better physique. A good warm-up routine lets your brain condition your body to the rigors of the training ahead. 14. Be creative in your strength training program. The more fun that you have in your workout, the bigger chance that you are going to stay in the program long-term. Search for tips, watch videos and exchange ideas on online forums. 15. Warm-up is not an option but a crucial part of every workout session. It allows your body to adjust from rest to exercise mode. It increases the body temperature, which regulates the flow of blood to the muscles to be worked out. 16. Warm-up has three levels. Always start your workout session with a 5 to 10 minute general body warm-up. Body-specific warm-up conditions the flexibility of the muscles by getting exercised at light intensity before going on full blast. 17 stretch after warming up the benefits of stretching must not be taken for granted it increases flexibility and enhances agility stretching encourages muscle growth by extending the body's capacity to hold one exercise position after another a lot 15 seconds of stretching before performing sets 18 no matter what the myths say you can never turn fat into muscle you cannot work out fat you have to lose the fat first to give way to muscle building. 19. Burn fat through cardio exercises. Fat burning takes place once you get your heart rate to the correct level.
target heart rate depends on one's age, resting heart rate, and low end of heart rate. Most gyms use the target heart calculator for this purpose. 20. Determine which cardio workout approach suits you well. Low intensity cardio workout, also known as slow and steady, requires 45 minutes to one hour of low intensity workout. This burns fat but not carbohydrates. High intensity cardio requires 20 to 30 minutes of high intensity workout. This fires up metabolism and burns fats and carbohydrates. If you feel this video helpful, please give a thumbs up and share. Please watch the other related videos in this channel by just clicking the links on the description below. It is appreciated if you hit the subscribe button to keep you updated and not to miss any upcoming videos posted in this channel. Bye for now and thanks for watching.